So you're thinking about moving to Tice's Virginia, but you're looking to get a better layout of the land to figure out whether or not it's an endeavor worth pursuing. Well, in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at some of the most noteworthy pros and cons of living in Tyson's. So hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be able to decipher whether it is something that makes sense for you and your family and let's jump right into it. Real quick for this video, we're gonna be looking at the pros first and then we're gonna end off with the cons. And at number one, we're gonna start off with the biggest draw for Tyson's and that's gonna be the location. Tyson's is located in the heart of Northern Virginia, making it a prime location for commuters and residents that just wanna be close to everything, just be at an arm's length away from Maryland, Arlington, DC, Loudoun, Prince William, and everything in and around Northern Virginia. With easy access to major highways like 495 and I-66, you can pretty much get to DC, Maryland, or pretty much anywhere in Virginia in just a matter of minutes. For example, if you were to commute to DC from Tyson's, you could expect it to take you around 25 to 30 minutes without traffic. This accessibility to transportation has led to a lot of job growth in the area, with many businesses choosing to relocate to Tyson's because of its convenient location, which in turn has caused a surge in popularity amongst residents and relocators. The next pro we're gonna look at is the dining and the shopping options inside of Tyson's. The Tyson's Corner Center and the Tyson's Galleria are actually two of the largest malls in the area, which together make the Tyson's Corner Mall which is considered to be the seventh largest mall on the East Coast. This is a huge attraction amongst the residents here with hundreds of stores and restaurants at your disposal that you can choose from. This has led Tyson's to become a major destination for shopping and dining in the region. The diverse range of dining options in Tyson's is especially notable with options ranging from high-end restaurants to fast and casual chains. And you know, Tyson is one of my personal favorite places to go for my dining, shopping, and just overall nightlife activities, especially if I don't wanna drive all the way down to DC, uh, Arlington, or Alexandria, Tyson's is a great alternative and it's at the top of my list. And I definitely know a lot of residents who do choose Tyson's over all the other areas mentioned, just because it's got a lot to offer and it's a lot newer and it's a lot more convenient for many other people, especially if they live on the more western part of Fairfax or Northern Virginia. Next pro we're gonna look at are the outdoor activities. And Tyson's is also a very nice place to live if you're looking for outdoor activities, right? The suburb has several parks and trails, including the Scotts Run Nature Preserve, uh, which is perfect for hiking and picnicking. And you know, if you're a golfer, you'll also be happy to know that there's a ton of different golf courses and stuff like that that you can enjoy. So in Tyson's, whatever you prefer doing, you're gonna have something for everybody whether you prefer to stay active or you just want to enjoy the scenery overall you have plenty of different options around uh, Tyson's but do note that Tyson's is still regarded as a city and it is popular because of the city feel that it provides so if you want more easy access to nature and walking trails and stuff like that you're either gonna have to hop in your car and go find it or if you want to be living inside of that sort of environment day in and day out then Tyson's might not be the place for you you might want to choose a neighboring suburb like Great Falls, McLean, Fairfax, there's plenty of other options all around Fairfax County in Northern Virginia, but Tyson's probably isn't the place for you. Now, another pro of living in Tyson's is the proximity to some of the best schools in the region. The Fairfax County public school system is amongst one of the best school systems in the country, and Tyson's just provides you with some of the best schools in the area amongst private schools and public schools. Niche.com gives us an A rating, so this is a big attraction and a big value proposition for families with school-aged children and people that are looking to uh, build a family and live inside of Tyson. So if that's you, if education is of utmost importance for you, then Tyson provides you with really good schools but to be honest, you can't go wrong anywhere you go in Fairfax County or even Loudoun County or Arlington County, they're all gonna provide you with some of the best schools in the nation. But if Tyson's is at the top of your list, if you like the city feel and you still want a good school for your child, rest assured that Tyson's will still cover your children's academia. And for the next pro, if you're a fan of art and culture, then Tyson's does have a good amount to offer you right now. It's gonna have more and more as time goes on. It is pretty limited because it's a bit of a newer area relative to the rest of Northern Virginia. But close by, you do have the Wolf Trap National Park for the Performing Arts, which is located outside of Tyson's inside of Vienna. But here you can expect to find concerts, plays, and other events throughout the year, like the 4th of July fireworks, which is awesome. It is a like an outside seating arrangement, so you can bring a towel or a blanket, sit on the grass, enjoy a picnic while you watch your favorite artist perform. And if it's raining, you do have kind of an indoor senior seating arrangement, but you also have a visual art scene very close by in DC with the Smithsonian National Museum of American Art, which is just a short drive away. It's not in Tyson's, 
As I mentioned, as things continue to develop, we're probably gonna start seeing more of those art scenes pop up in Tyson's, but right now, you are gonna have to drive out to DC and Arlington to experience that. However, it is just a short trip away from you. And all that means is that with this easy access to arts and cultures, there's always something interesting to do in and around Tyson's, whether you're interested in music, theater, or visual arts overall. All right, and now we're gonna cover what everybody is here for, and that's the cons of living in Tyson's. And probably the biggest drawback of living here is gonna be the cost of living. And I've mentioned this in every other video, pretty much everywhere you go in Northern Virginia, that's gonna be a con. We know that Virginia is one of the most expensive places to live in the country, and Tyson's is one of the most expensive places to live in Northern Virginia. With a high cost of housing and living expenses, it can be a challenge for people to live in Tyson's, especially if you're on a tighter budget, so to speak. The high cost of living in Tyson's is primarily due to the prime location, which is very desirable for people, which in turn causes demand to go up and in turn causes prices to go up. You know, the median home sale price here is $795,000. However, that is taken into consideration all the real estate in the area. Many of these websites like Redfin are gonna take into consideration not only Tyson's, but also the outskirts of Tyson's in McLean and Vienna. So this will give you a gauge as to what kind of single family homes are available near Tyson's, and that's gonna be around the 1.2 to $1.3 million range. The good thing about being on the outskirts is that you get a lot more options as well in terms of townhomes and single family homes and condos as well. But if you wanna be smack dab in the middle of Tyson's, you're gonna to have to sell for a studio and a condo or an apartment. And those are gonna range between the 400 to the $500,000 range. So if you have a bigger family and you want yard space and privacy, Tyson's is probably not gonna be the best place for you. But if you still wanna have easy access to it, there's plenty of neighboring suburbs that will give you that single, those single family homes you're looking for like McLean, Fairfax, uh, Great Falls, Falls Church, uh, all around Tyson's, which can still give you that uh, easy access to Tyson's, but also give you that privacy and yard space that you might be looking for. Another con of living in Tyson's is that because it's such a highly sought after area, there's many people living here, which in turn causes a lot of traffic. While Tyson's does have great access to the major highways, like I mentioned, it does mean that it can get quite congested during rush hour, especially because there's so many businesses that uh, set up shop here. So people are gonna be coming in for work. People are gonna be passing through to get to DC and Arlington, and people are gonna be coming in for their shopping, their dining activities. So whether it's rush hour or peak dining hours, you can expect a lot of movement and traffic to be happening in the area. As I mentioned, it'll take you around 25 to 30 minutes to get to DC with no traffic, but during rush hour, you can expect on a normal day to usually add another 10 to 15 to 20 minutes on top of that commute. But if it's raining, it's snowing, there's an accident, there's construction, you can expect to add another 25 to 30 minutes on top of that. So it can be pretty volatile if you're gonna be driving on the regular interstate. Otherwise, I recommend using the toll roads, which can get quite expensive over time, especially if you're going every single day to and from work. But if your company can pay for that, that's fantastic. Otherwise, you do have the public transportation, the Metro smack dab in the middle of the Tysons, which will connect you to DC in a timely manner every single day. So you can have a more robust schedule coming in and out of work and it just makes things a lot easier. But all in all, traffic is something you're gonna have to deal with, not only in Tysons, but pretty much anywhere you go in Fairfax County, especially as you get closer to DC. Next con we have on this list is walkability or the lack thereof. While it does have some pedestrian friendly areas, uh, much of the neighborhood is designed for cars, to be honest with you. This can make it difficult for people who prefer to walk, bike, and just stroll around getting to places instead of driving. And to be quite frank, the lack of walkability in Tyson's does make it difficult to get to know your neighbors and just feel a sense of community overall. However, there are efforts being put forth to make the area more walkable by adding sidewalks, bike lanes, and walking trails all around, which is gonna make things a lot easier. Just think about it that this area is relatively newer than the majority of Fairfax County, as I mentioned earlier, it's like 20 to 30 years old. So in the grand scheme of things, it's pretty much brand new. It's at the beginning of its conception, but the idea is to turn it into the major hub and the downtown area of Fairfax County. So people don't have to rely on going to Arlington or Washington DC. They can go to Tyson's, especially if they're out in Loudoun, you know, their commute is gonna be a lot shorter and this can be finally the, the hub that Fairfax County has been looking for. Which brings me to my next con and that's gonna be the lack of green spaces. Now, Tyson's does have some parks and trails in the area. However, they are limited in size and availability. This can be a challenge for people who like to spend the majority of their time outdoors, especially if they have kids or they have pets. However, it is worth noting that, again, if you're willing to hop in your car, you do have plenty of parks all around uh, Tyson's and 
all around Northern Virginia and Fairfax County. Uh, you have the Great Falls Park just 10 to 15 minutes away from you. You've got the Potomac Heritage Trail as well, just right next to you. So if you're willing to hop in your car, you do have that at your disposal. But if you wanna be able to hop out of your house and be right in the middle of nature, then again, Tyson's is probably not gonna be your first option. Now for the last and final con of living in Tyson's is the noise level. As I mentioned, it is a city feel. There's gonna be a lot of traffic, so you're gonna get a lot of road noise and people noise with people coming in and out of Tyson's, especially during peak rush hour and dining hours. Not to mention, you're still relatively close to the Dulles International Airport, so you also have airplane noise overhead, albeit you're far enough away from it where it's not gonna to be too much of a pain day in and day out. But it could be a pro being close to the airport if you're looking to travel very frequently for work or play. But the noise is something you're gonna to have to deal with, especially inside of Tyson's. And that can be a con, again, for someone who prefers the more tranquil, peaceful areas where they can feel secluded, be close to the city and all the major amenities there, but still feel like they're far enough away from it to enjoy you know, their peaceful environment overall. But there you have it, the most noteworthy pros and cons of living in Tyson's, Virginia. While there are some challenges to living in Tyson's like any other area, many of the residents do believe that the benefits heavily outweigh the drawbacks. You know, with its prime location, abundance of shopping and dining options, and fantastic schools, it's really no wonder why Tyson's has become such a popular place to live in Northern Virginia and why we expect it to become more and more popular as time continues to go on. However, it's always important to consider your own personal needs and preferences when choosing whether or not Tyson's is gonna make sense for you and your family. But I hope this video could help you with that and I hope you got some value out of it. If you did, please leave a like down below. It helps out a ton. If you wanna add anything onto this video, if I missed anything or you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below in the comment section. If you are thinking about moving to Tyson's or anywhere else in Northern Virginia, or you have any real estate questions, feel free to reach out to us. All the info is gonna be down below in the description. You can always give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, schedule a Zoom call. We'd be happy to help you make that smooth move here. But until then, as always, we hope to show you around town or we'll see you on the next video.